this is Katie Colleen with Colleen Cosplay here and today I am doing something different and a little crazy. So now this project that I had started after the new year and I've been working really hard on, it has grown so huge that I now need to wear a hoop skirt to hold up the weight of this cosplay that I'm making. And it has just occurred to me that I will be wearing a hoop skirt with basically a ball gown over it and the ball gown has a train. And I use mobility aids, like in my head thinking, how am I going to walk around the convention? Okay, so I got, I felt like a uh, like moderately okay sized hoop skirt. Like it's not huge. Ta -da! So I think I've kind of figured out doors. Sometimes you have to just, Our neighbors have this dog and there's nothing I can really do about it. Enjoy our soundtrack it is an original soundtrack. Do not copyright of this dog. So I usually use my crutches, but I was really concerned about like being able to adjust my knee braces. So I have my knee braces here. I like how there's more dogs barking now. Like it's a whole neighborhood thing. That's why the soundtrack is an original and with multiple artists. So I think that's gonna be okay. I can just like lift up the hoops and fix the braces. Okay, now we get to the interesting part. Let's test out the crutches. I use forearm crutches for every convention I attend. This just works the best for me. In a perfect world, it just works using the forearm crutches, preferably both of them. Uh, generally I have my crutches like to the side of my feet, like just wide enough that I won't kick them with my feet when I walk. So I think I'm gonna have to try and like, like I'd have to have my crutches all the way out here at like a, this angle. So my crutch in order to be like not in the dress has to be at this weird angle. So if you look at like where it's contacting the ground, it's not making like a flat contact at all. I'm in like the very corner of like this rubber stopper. Um, I don't think I could do this for super long just because it's really hard on the shoulder joints. Cause instead of putting all my force downward, like I would like this, all my force is at an angle. So it's kind of going up into my shoulder joints uncomfortably, but I could probably make it work for like a little while. The other thing to consider was one crutch. And I can do one crutch if I have the braces and I take a lot of breaks. So I could, then you could have it like down and the skirt can just be out here. So yeah, I think this could work. So I also, let me try one other thing. So I have these kind of crutches too. I don't really like them because you can't like lift up with them. No, I think that's worse. Yeah, that's worse. I think so far this is the win. <sighs> okay, so. I'm gonna try some underarm crutches. I pretty much never use underarm crutches just because like they don't work for me. But one of you guys, one of uh, one of my followers commented saying that you use underarm crutches. So I wanna like obviously include that because I have them. So I have the same problem with the underarm crutches as I do with the forearm. Is that like having it at the normal position is just not going to work. So I'm gonna have to avoid the hoops. So I'm gonna have to go sideways like this. I can see this working. Ah! Okay, so having given it some practice, I'm going to crown a winner. So for me, the easiest is one crutch. We're gonna do one crutch and the knee braces. The knee braces help a lot. And my idea is then I can like pick up the hoops to go through like doors. So I'm gonna try and get up the stairs and into a door in the hoop skirt with my crutches. And we're gonna see how that goes because I'm gonna have to go up steps for the competition. Going down, you gotta put the crutch first. Uh, 
I want to have the most thorough hoop skirt versus mobility aids review for you guys. I mean, at least the mobility aids I own and use. So I'm also going to walk across like our backyard. It's kind of like this wasteland right now. It's not that we aren't taking care of it or no one's not taking care of it. We just have to wait until spring for the rental property to lay down sod. So right now it's just this weed wasteland. We have our very own tumbleweeds. So I'm gonna try walking over this with just one crutch and you just don't know like where your hoop skirt will go with you. I mean, take it hiking, take it everywhere. Like I want the most thorough review for you guys. Uh oh, uphill is kind of a problem. I need the leg. And then finally, if you're gonna wear a princess dress, you gotta be able to twirl. It's a thing. So I feel like I should also show you twirling capabilities with this uh, hoop skirt and our winner for the mobility aid option, at least in my opinion. So like my knees aren't super good at twisting, so I kind of wonder if I could like twist with my hand. <laughs> no, let's, let's go around, let's, let's do this. You know what? I do not recommend twirling, okay? I take it back. But I think, I think maybe. I don't recommend twirling, okay? I think I've got this figured out now. I feel confident going to the con. Um, I haven't tried this on with the ball gown, but that's what I'm going to do next. And that will be in next week's video. I don't really want to like reveal it yet. Cause as I've mentioned, it's a whole month in the making for basically the sake of two YouTube videos. If any of you guys have ever used mobility aids with hoop skirts or anything like that, that's really restricting, please tell me in the comments. I obviously can only represent what I know. And this is what I know. And what I know tells me that one crutch is one forearm crutch and braces is probably the best I'm gonna get. No twirling, that's unfortunate. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.